Clay Path exhibition uh, celebrates 2,000 uh, years of history of Durham City. Uh, the exhibition is the results of two years of excavation in 2016 and 2017 by Archaeological Services Durham University and Adaman Archaeology. The results of the excavation are nearly 30 boxes of archaeology discovered and some wonderful objects ranging from an Iron Age burial right the way through uh, to a 19th century toilet float. We found a Iron Age cremation pit and in this pit were a number of fragmented uh, bones. Um, they know that these were Iron Age because they had the radium carbon dated and they dated these to 90 BC to 50 AD. It's what we call a token burial, so it's not the complete cremation, it's just part of it. And they were able to do some osteoarchaeology and they were able to discover that it was an adult, but they weren't able to say whether it was a male or female. Um, but there were some interesting things as well, so a few of the bones actually had evidence of regrowth, which uh, shows they were either injured or unwell, they've actually been able to heal. It is Durham's first known resident. This takes our history back another thousand years to people being and living in this area a thousand years before the establishment of St Cuthbert and the community around the cathedral and the castle. History is basically like a jigsaw puzzle. So at the end of it, what we've got is a complete history of Durham with more information. What's really nice about this is that this is really exciting is this is human history. This isn't just walls and objects, this is a person as well. And we know also how people were living and working. So the Claypath exhibition um, is at Palace Green Library. Uh, it's a free exhibition and it'll be running until the 1st of June.